Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you. We are going to use a few of these just to get some overall energies, and then we're going to jump right into your tarot. So we are looking at the person on your mind. My life is not together at all. And it's too much. It's too much. My life is not together at all. We have I want more with you at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys, I feel like this could be somebody that you're kind of dealing with on some level. Um, and it looks like they do want more with you. They do want to like move some connection forward, but they could feel like they have so much. This too much feels like that ten of wands to me. It's like they could feel like they have so much on their plate or so much going on that they're just not in a space that they're, you know, feel like they're ready and able to commit and be fair. Like you put the time, effort, and energy into something that you deserve. Now, for others of you, I do feel like this maybe is a past energy that is kind of wanting to move back towards you. We have this, I miss you. Yeah. Um, and that could be wanting to move back towards you, but I would be cautious because it looks like for some of you guys, it's that they're they're in a really bad space and that's kind of causing them to like, man, when I was with Taurus, I, you know, I always had somebody who was there for me. Taurus always took care of this for me. Taurus was always here. You know, it's that kind of thing. So let's, let's keep going. Let's see. We're going to be looking at their energy towards you. Okay. We have the temperance here. Some of you guys... Uh, especially for those of you, if this is a past energy, you could have been waiting on this person, or maybe it's just been a while. For some of you guys, maybe you're willing to be patient with somebody. Um, and for those of you where it's like somebody you you know wants something more here with you, but they're just not in a, you know they have a lot going on. Some of you guys may just be willing to be patient. But let's see, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. It's being influenced by the Page of Swords and the Lovers. So somebody could have their eye on you. For some of you guys, they could just be kind of, you know, have their eye on you. Um, they could be, you know, thinking about you, thinking about the connection that you had. For those of you where it's a past person. For those of you where this is, you know, somebody that you're kind of dealing with, but they have a lot going on. I definitely feel like you're just really heavily on their mind at this time. Somebody, I feel like both cases, somebody here is trying to figure out what the next best step is. Okay, what do I do here? Things are kind of at a standstill. We have the Ten of Swords here for their thoughts. So for those of you where this is a person that you're currently dealing with and they have a lot going on, I do feel like somebody thinks like maybe it's better if I just end things here with Taurus because I just don't have, especially with the Six of Pentacles being the challenge, like I don't have anything to give to this. I don't have time. I don't have effort. I don't have, I don't have anything I can put into this, right? I don't have the energy. I don't have the time. I don't have the money to date. You know, I just don't have anything right now. Um, so they could think about ending it, but they're struggling with that because they really want something here with you. This Ace of Pentacles, they see so much potential opportunity and they just don't want to lose that. Um, their intention is the King of Pentacles. Like they're going to be trying really hard to, you know, get their situation together, get themselves to a really stable place. They're really focused on that. They're wanting something long-term, stable, committed. This is your energy. Um, so I feel like they're wanting you, you know? Um, so it's like hard for them because it's like, man, I feel like I should just end it because I don't want to be unfair to Taurus, but I don't want to lose Taurus either. I feel like there's going to be a conversation. Somebody has a lot going on. They're doing their best to kind of deal with everything that they can as it comes at them with this Knight of Swords. They could be taking care of this, doing this, doing this. Um, but I do feel like you're going to have a conversation. 
somebody could be making a decision to kind of, you guys could be making a decision together to kind of fight for this, okay? Uh, with that five of wands here. Now, for those of you where this is a past person, okay? I do feel like they're thinking about how things ended. This person could have really hurt you. There could have been some kind of betrayal there. For some of you guys, they could have just ghosted or ended things very abruptly. This ace of pentacles here. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Taurus, I'm just going to be honest with you because to me, especially with it being the pentacle, I would have liked to see like an ace of wands, maybe ace of cups would be even better. Um, cause to me, I feel like somebody's having a hard time, like in multiple ways, like they're not stable, they're not secure. They could be having a hard time financially. And that could definitely be, somebody could be seeing you as like an, a, a financial opportunity here, you know, something to kind of help them get back on their feet or help them get stable or take care of them. The six of cups here as a challenge, you know, I feel like be careful of people who take more than they give. Okay. Okay, that's kind of my warning there for that. Um, the Knight of Swords, they could be moving towards you quickly. It could end in an argument. This conversation uh, could end in an argument for those of you where it is a past person. Okay, um, so just be cautious with that. Now, only you guys get to decide what's best for you, um, but that is what I'm seeing. Now, the signs I'm seeing for you, I see Gemini, all the air signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see all the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. So even if I did not mention a specific sign, this reading can definitely still resonate for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about the reading, personal readings, Patreon, the tarot course, all that stuff's in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.